Hi again, YouTubers. So this is my October five favorites and one regret. Um, I kind of have, have one regret and one I'm not so sure of. So I'm going to talk to you guys about all of them. Um, the first thing that I've been loving is on my vanity and it is the coolest thing. Like kudos to them for coming up with this because this is the most the best idea ever. Um, and this is the drying rack. It's called a brush tree. They're calling it and it's by Benjabel and I will put their link below and this one was sent to me and mine was sent and it was cracked so they sent me another one and I do have this here I will say that that did not stop it um this stays on my vanity and I have a towel underneath of it right here but um it is it's the best idea who would have thought little plastic things you put your brushes through, it holds your brushes. Somebody asked me if it holds eyeshadow brushes. Yep, puts them a little bit wonky, but still still holds them, no problem. Um, and I love this thing because I use the rubbing, and this is like a thinner brush base. Like, it's just awesome, awesome, awesome. Sits on your desk or your dresser or your, you know, bathroom or whatever like this. And it's awesome. I use it when I use it for these brushes are dirty. Um, when I use rubbing alcohol or when I deep clean them, either one, it is such a great idea. Like who would have thought? Um, they do come in three different colors, black, pink, and white. I got the black one just because it goes with what I have. But who would have thought? What a great idea. Kudos to them for that. I um, mean, I think it's $25. I don't remember, honestly, I'll have to look. But what a great idea. That is like my like all time highlight of this month. I just think it's such an amazing idea. Um, next thing that I'm loving is the Tarte. Um, I got a set of four and I will say I am loving this color. It's called Stellar and I have it on today and it doesn't look like much from packaging, right? And it doesn't even look like much when you open it up this way, but it is just such a pretty, pretty fall color. It is gorgeous. Um, and I, it doesn't even swatch as much. I swatched all of these and put it on my Twitter and my Instagram, uh, same name, Lisa z 9 because people were asking me for swatches of all four. So I have swatches of all four on Instagram and Twitter. Um, but I've always loved the blushes, but this color, um, it definitely piqued my interest and I ordered Exposed as well because a lot of people said Exposed is like the best one and never looked like anything to me when I saw it, when people held it up. And now that I see this one for the same thing, Love it, and I have it on today. I think I mentioned that, but I'm not sure. Next thing I'm loving, Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. I have it in the color Blonde 15. This is what it looks like. I have it on today. It requires like a dot. Like you can't even explain how small of a dot it requires to do both your eyebrows, and it's so easy to use. Um, and it stays, and it doesn't move, and it's just great, great product. I'll do full review on that. Next thing I'm loving um, is the OCC Lip Tar in Marion. have that on right now as well. This is what it looks like. Um, it's a great fall color. It is darker than it appears on Sephora's website. And well, it's kind of true to what you see here. It's kind of a nice dusty rose color. Um, and I'm loving these. I did order another one in the color Hush. So I'll keep giving those a try and see how they go. Next thing I've been loving is the YSL gloss. I think it's in the color 19. They don't have names. It's the one that comes in the holiday set. Um, there's a holiday set on Sephora that has like the touche eclat and like a couple other uh, eyeliner or mascara and a little bag. Um, I just wanted the full size of the gloss because I'd heard such great things about it. Um, I don't have any gloss on right now. Let's put it on. They smell so good. They smell like fruity or watermelon. Love it, love it, love it. By the way, I hope you all stayed safe if you're here on the East Coast uh, through that storm. We lost power for 28 hours, um, and of course, four hours after we went and found a generator, power came back on, but so be it. It is what it is, um, and you know, we did good with it. It wasn't bad. Um, you know, we had the fireplace going, and we charged phones in the car, and you know, it wasn't too bad, and then we got the generator just for things like the sump pump, and the freezer and we were very 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 fortunate because our neighbors on both sides and we just bought this house and if you guys follow me um my neighbors on both sides their basements flooded and mine didn't so we were very very lucky and blessed for that so whew. um so yeah 
And that's very lucky too because we have a party at our house this weekend. So imagine if my basement flooded and I had to do that. I feel bad. But anyway, sorry, on to the next thing. So I hope you all were safe. Hope you guys made out okay, even if you lost power. Um, and uh, definitely hope you guys are all okay. So next thing, Bare Minerals Well Rested. This is my regret, sorry, face and eye illuminator. This is what it looks like. I was hoping this was gonna be more of a yellow base. It truly is just like every other pen, click pen highlighter I've ever seen out there. Nothing to write home about. It's a pretty highlighter, it has a nice sheen to it, but I, I didn't, I was expecting because of the well-rested name, I expected some brightening under my eyes. I didn't really see anything out of the ordinary. Wasn't impressed with it, so save your money there. Next thing isn't really a regret. I'm just trying to figure out how to use this best. And then it's a Cogendo Moisture Foundation. I have it in the color 023. And so many people have raved about this foundation and said it's the best one out there and it's great and blah, 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 and all this. And I just haven't figured it out. I feel like I had to use too much of it. So I'm still working on this. Um, I've heard a couple people have videos on it and I'm gonna search it. But again, with power out and stuff like that, and it was just it's just been difficult, I haven't had time. But uh, I will definitely do some checks on that. I'm just gonna do a quick mention um, I, of something I finished. Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Foundation. I have it on today. There is absolutely nothing left of this thing, man. I left it upside down. Look, I wiped the, the little pump clean. Like there is nothing left in this thing. I enjoyed this so much, and I do have a review posted on this. I enjoyed this so much that I repurchased another one. So that's pretty impressive. You'll see that in the haul coming up. Um, along with the other things you heard me mention. So um, if you have any questions, think, here that hit the trash because it's empty. Um, actually, it should go to recycling because it's glass. I think I will. I'll pull that out. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are safe through the storm here on the East Coast. If you weren't on the East Coast, I hope if you have any friends or family here, they were safe. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions on the things you saw here. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.